Hey there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with our YouTube boss Drift Town. As we are taking down a forest tree, because we've built a new one. So let's get rid of the old one. Maybe we can, uh, in the end, build a new type of um, industry here. But so far, ah, no clue what to get there. But, uh, well, there's still plenty of stuff in the building queue, so we'll be busy for a bit. And, well, this orchard will take some time. These are already creating good amounts of stuff. So it's time to take a little look. Let's see. We have 30 perished apples, 77 perished fish, 100 perished milk. But that's it. So I guess we're doing okay. We're not doing that bad. Not a lot of stuff goes to waste. Most of it is used. So who doesn't like that? There goes the milk. Let me check because I don't really... No, where we have the dairy. Yeah, we have not built a dairy yet. So that could be one to build so that we can make this milk go into some cheese products. That will be a nice addition. Now, of course, we also have cow sheds over here. So it could be... Let's slaughter, by the way. Let's check if we have more animals that need slaughtering. No, we could just get some dairy production up. That would be a nice addition to town. We could really be using that, so yeah, that could be something. Well, not a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of newborn bulls, but not a lot of old bulls. We slaughtered them all. So that's good. Let's see, there's milk coming from here. There's milk coming from here. So I guess the dairy should go maybe somewhere here. Maybe even close to this granary. That could be an excellent place, actually. Let's just hope we can fit it in, in the terrain. Because if we can, maybe if we rotate it, sometimes that works. If you rotate a building, then all of a sudden there will be an opening where you can build it. But yeah, this is all steep slopes. Let's see. All uneven terrain. But here we have a little spot next to the farms. Yeah, let's build it here. Because then we can put the other stuff that we want in the granary. Although, we can't put everything in it. That's a little problem. Because there's three products coming from it. Butter, cheese. Let's get rid of the beetroot. We don't really need the beetroot. And smetana. Those are the products that we can make from the uh, milk. So let's put that in here. And then, of course, we also need a market stall to start selling those goods. For everybody who wants it. Now, I'm not going to put a worker in here yet because, well, we're not producing any butter, cheese or smetana. But as soon as we are, we can just start to sell it. Ooh, messenger from Balaklia. Balaklia, yeah. All right, let's see. We don't need to buy iron. We don't need to buy anything else. Don't really have anything to sell at this point. I don't know why we would sell anything. Let's just get the dairy up so we can start to produce some goods there. You can see the fishing dock is in progress. This one needs to get some fishing boats. This one needs workers. We didn't do that yet because we were waiting for the snow to clear. Now that the snow is clear, we can actually get it. I do believe that we already have a boatyard. Yes, so let's just do apply to all and apply to all because we've added extra wood to it. And now that extra wood can also go in here. And now they should pre prepare the boats. Then we can put some workers in here. Only produce dried fish, of course. That's good. Our windmills are doing a nice job. We have some flour to spare. We have potatoes. We have buckwheat. We have apples. It's still March. We still have apples. So that's good. They did not turn bad yet. And we have produced plenty that were not out yet. So that's a good, th good thing. Let's keep that up. And well, I have to say, I think most places run quite smoothly, actually. Yep, there's still some extra stuff that could go in here. Could tell them to also do it by wagon. I don't think we have wagons yet, but that might also be a thing to, to start working to a little bit. Get some wagons around with horses to transport all the goods. 
But I'm pretty happy with how the town is developing and what we all get and how we can uh, make that all work. Look at this, selling things like charm. Two stores already, so really everything is sold here. All they need should be in the granary soon enough. And they're building the fishing docks now. Well, we can see we have only filled a small portion of the map. There's still plenty of space out here, so still plenty of room for improvements. Although it is starting to look a little bit like a town, so that's a good thing. These are all filled up with workers, which is exactly what we want, because we want these to keep producing all the time. I wonder if we have enough workers once all the farms are sewn in. Then we should get to a point where they don't need to hire anybody anymore. We can see already, yeah, this farm is still hiring, <clears throat> but all the other farms are already done. So within a month, except for this farm, all farms are sewn in. That's very quickly. That means that we'll get a lot of food out of it. We should soon see all of these people making sure that their gardens are sewn in as well, uh, which will help grow their own food, which is a good thing too. Oh, I'm pretty happy. Let's go to speed 3 for a little bit. Just speed things up so that we uh, can get some more uh, things done. Another fishery is done. Let's start building boats for this one too. Now this one should be producing the boats. They're just not getting in a lot of stuff. Guess they have to walk quite far to get the wood. Although they could easily just pick a cart, of course, and then, I don't know, you get a cart here. You get some wood and you transport it. 296 logs in there. Oopsie, that's a bit too many. But it's okay. A well is done, so the people here can now have some extra water. Yeah, this is a nice little neighborhood that we're building here. Child has been born and now we're getting the dairy construction up. That would mean that we have to get rid of all the milk in the other granaries so that it doesn't go to waste there and that we just use it in our main place right here. Maybe we should get rid of the, um, I don't know, carrots in here too so we can put the milk in this one because once the milk is in this one, I don't know, let's set it up to a thousand. All the milk can go in here and they can easily grab it to start making some dairy stuff out of it. But of course all the milk needs to go there then and not into other granaries. So let's get rid of it. That's the best way. Because they do need a certain amount of milk to actually start producing. Now this is a good amount of milk. And this, this should help them create those other goods. And why are those other ones very important? Well... The other goods that they create in here, like butter and cheese and stuff, will may remain good for longer. Especially cheese will last quite some time. And that's a really good thing. They're also getting more milk in here. I hope it can keep up a bit. A messenger from Barvin Cove. Well, let's buy some extra Horilka. Don't want to run out of any of those goods. Another village house is done. All right, well, I don't know. Building a boat. Yeah, I should say they should be building a boat right now. Going to work, going to work. Ah, they're both going to work now. Then they should start building boats. Takes quite some time before the fishing boats gets there, but... Um, ooh, he has broke his hand. That's not good. Well, maybe we need to start focusing on the barber shop to heal our people. That could be something. All right, we have a fishing boat in here. So let's start at least putting two workers in there so that they can rotate their shifts and fish. And for health, we should get the barber surgeon. We don't have one yet, so building a first one might be the solution to make sure that people get healthy or stay healthy. Now, I think it should have a rather central spot in town. So I guess somewhere here would be nice, but uh, well, there's a lot of uneven terrain here. That does not make it easy to build a barber shop. We could also place it, of course, right here, where the uh, uh, 
uh, forestry was, but there's still some stuff here. All right. 59, moved by cart. There they go. Choose a building. Well, we'll put it in there. Yep, that's where the nails go. Anyway, all right, let's put this up to 750. Because then we should be able to build the barber surgeon here. Yep, very good. Oh, this should be quite a good spot, I think. Uh, let's speed up the construction. I think we should have quite a few bricks now. Yeah, 15,000. We only need 6,000. So uh, let's get the barber surgeon up so that people can get healed. Because right now, once they're sick, we can't heal them. Which is not the best thing, of course. All right, let's put somebody extra in there now that we have an extra boat. Ah, uh, this is nice. Messenger from Merefa. Ooh, warm clothing. I think we should have some warm clothing for the next winter. So let's buy some. All the rest is fine. Maybe some weed. Yeah, let's buy... A no, we don't need to buy weed. We still have in storage and soon we'll get more. All right, let's sell 500 iron. Can we sell some salt too? Oh yeah, we have some to spare. Let's sell some salt. That should be it. Somebody has a broken leg. So yeah, people do tend to uh, get all kinds of injuries and stuff now. So we definitely need that barber surgeon. Another house is done. That's the right way to go. Keep expanding our little village. Get more workers. We do need them, especially in this area with all the farms. So having more workers in this area is a very good thing. Salt and firewood in there. That works. This is good. Ah, oh, the lime works is busy. Well, all in all, we're not doing bad. Bringing all the resources here. Are they going to create the next fishing boat? Once they arrive, I guess they will. Ooh, Barber Surgeon getting close to some real building action. That should bring us to getting a stable. So that at least we can start to uh, produce some horses. So let's get a stable and next to it get the wagon shed. I think we should place it like this. There we go. Now let's get the stable first so we can start to breed some horses. And once we have enough horses, we can get to uh, stables. Now that also means we have to check the smithy because yeah, we have to start creating horseshoe. Otherwise that won't be, uh, that will be an issue because we need those horseshoe. We also need to create some tack. So let's see where that one is. I think it's on the other page, the saddlery. We need to start creating some saddles and things like that. This will fit in nicely here, so that's perfect. Nice dense area. Uh, let's buy some more warm clothing. We can still use it. Okay, so a lot of productions ongoing. Oh, here comes the um, barber shop. Look at all those details and how well it's built and designed. Just gotta love it, it's perfect. So there we go. Just a bit more construction. It's over halfway done. All the resources are collected. Just wooden nails now and a lot of work. It goes into it. Let's zoom in even more. And of course, I hope we can cure a lot of people. There it comes. Painted and all. A very nice building. And now we have a barber family in here. They both work as barber surgeons, so that's good. One of the things we have to check now is the text that we have on the barber surgeon. And let's up that text quite a bit. We could see that he's already quite wealthy. So let's get that up. Let's get the tavern text up too. Because we need ways to make money, of course. So yeah, this is already quite the wealthy family. And uh, well, let's hope they cure a lot of people. 
Messenger from Barvin Cove. Let's buy some more Horilka again then. We already bought some, but it's going quite quickly. Well, we can see a lot of people going in and out of the Barber's Church, and so... Um, It'll be interesting to see how much money they make. Ah, 69 in one month. That's a good amount. They can keep that up. They'll make a lot of money. Which, of course, makes it worth to... Uh, get all the money out of them that we can. Ooh, we have a lot of hay. So that's working out too. Means that we also have the workers to actually work those hay dryers. So that's good. Also have the workers to... Uh, Get everything out of the farms that we want. Alright, we have three boats in here now, so that worked out. Now this one still needs boats. Uh, let's go to one here. Let's see how exactly we've set it up for seasonal hiring and apply that to all. And same here. So that we know that all of these will have the workers once they need them. And they will get out as soon as they need to help out with harvest and things like that. But as far as I can tell right now, we can hire plenty of people. So there's no real reason to do that. We can see that we're stocking up on butter, cheese and smetana. Which is very nice. So let's start selling it. I think that's a good, uh, good thing to do. Apply to all and apply to all. Yeah, people immediately come in and buy it. So that's good. They really like them some butter and cheese and smetana. All the milk gets straight into the dairy, which they're using it quite well. I like those little additions. I hope there'll be more production change to uh, complete. Although I think they should not overdo it. They should not make things overly complex or where you have to run like 50 different production chains to get everything done. I don't know if that's going to work out for the game, but as far as it goes right now, it's perfect. Graveyard's doing good. These are doing a good harvest. Yep. Guess we need to invest in some more housing for people. But also more jobs in this area, I think. Because there's houses here, but not a lot of jobs. I mean, what should these people do? They don't have anywhere to go. Now, once this bridge is done, we can build some jobs out here. But we could also think about what more jobs we should get in this area. Maybe extra fisheries, that could be one thing. Although I think one of the things that we need is an extra bridge here. Too low. No, that's not what we want to see. Maybe if we go like this it'll work out. Just up the land a bit. Yeah, perfect. Then we'll have an extra passage here, and then maybe we can add some more fisheries. I mean, that's never a bad idea, I guess, to get more fisheries. Let's get two more. And once people start living here, they can go work there, so that will be nice. Now this house comes right in disposition. Now one of the things they've added lately is the corner house. So what we could do... Of course, is build a corner house here. That could be very nice. Then we get really get some sort of a square area. Well, I guess it should go like this then. Yep, that should be nice. We should build that first. Another messenger. Are we out of Orilka again? No, we'll last for a bit. Alright, let's check the farms. This one completely done. This one not done, but getting there. Uh, this one not done, but getting there. This one also busy. Oh well, it's only September, so still plenty of time. This one, ooh, already got a lot of harvesting done. They have to bring in a lot of goods though, so that might take some extra time. But I don't really mind. Plenty of time. It's only September. We have the full month of October. We'll get the full month of September. Or uh, November. So still two full months to go. Alright, we have the stables now. I think we should uh, put some people in here. At least two. Make sure that they stack up on the right goods for the... Uh... I don't want to waste any weed actually, I think. 
So let's set it up for 250 Lindsay. Let's get uh, 10 Horseshoe in here and 4 Tech. They can be supplied by anything, I don't mind. And now once a trader comes by with horses, we actually have all the food and stuff in here. So we can feed the horses. Then it will still take some time before we actually need the wagon shed because they need to reproduce and things like that. So we can move that one over. But I think this is moving in the right direction. We still need to hire a few people to finish the uh, charcoal pits, but yet yeah, there they are. So that's working out too, meaning that a lot more farms are done. Otherwise they would only be hiring a lot of people and they will go to the farms first. But we can see even the charcoal pits can already hire again. Not all of them, but some of them. So that's a good thing. Nobody in the iron mines, but uh, soon there should be workers again. I really love the seasonal hiring ability because it gives you so much control over your town where you can just at the right months when you need all the people to do the harvesting, you can just get those people out and make sure that they do the harvest, which is excellent. All right, well, all the fisheries are doing a great job now. Not that we are actually stocking up on fish. All the fish is used and traded straight away, which is also a nice thing. How good is that, that all that we produce is immediately used? I think that's great. I have to say, I don't really like all the roads here. It's getting a bit messy. Maybe we should make some fencing here to make sure that people take certain paths. So there should be a path or something here. Um, I think we should try and go from here. This is the main road, which should lead to maybe somewhere here. So what we can do is start fencing this off like this. So that people will have to follow that road if they want to go there. And from there on, they can see what they do. And then we'll just do it a bit like this. Just to fence off certain areas so they won't be using them that much anymore. This way we can create some artificial roads, I guess. So I guess they can use this road, but they just need to take it into town this way, like this. We'll leave an opening in case somebody gets caught in it. But I think setting up a few things like this to prevent roads from forming everywhere. We can make this look like a natural piece of grassland instead of um, all these different roads here. And I guess the same goes for this. I don't mind a road here. Oh, it's too long. Well, that's good. That means that we can make a few extra steps. But I do mind all these roads here. I don't want all these roads here. So let's go all the way up here, then go down here. And I guess we should just make it a bit like this. So that we actually get a few areas where people just don't walk. I think this might help out because once these roads are completely gone and we remove the fencing, they should be keeping the roads and they should be using the roads that they already formed. So interesting to see. This is a bit of an experiment. Let's see if it works. It will take time though before these well-traveled paths will go away. But I think this might be a way to, to structure your city a bit, make certain paths available, others unavailable, and that could be helpful or could make the town look a bit nicer maybe. That's maybe a way to put it. All right, we're going to build another row house. I hope we have all the bricks for it. Yeah, we still have 10,000 bricks, so that should be fine. We are starting to lose money though. I guess we've bought quite a few things and we're not really sold much. So that should be something to keep in mind. We do have 20,000 buckwheat now. We have 16,000 potatoes. We have 2,100 flour. We have 3,600 apples. So food wise, we're doing quite okay. We have a lot of hay. We have some garlic. Yeah, this is good. We just need to make sure that... Uh, we don't grow too fast and lose all of the uh, money or production. 
we need to keep production growing as well. That's what I mean to say. Oh, there's a lot of flax in here. There's linseed in here. We're not really storing any of that. We should seek out some storage for different things. Because we have a lot of some goods. Maybe we can store that somewhere a bit more strategic. Like here we're storing some wheat and apples. What if we put the linseed in here? Can we? I don't think we can store linseed in here. In the granary. No, it doesn't go in the granary. We'll have to build a warehouse for that. Or just add it to this one, but this one's already almost filled up. Hmm, I'll have to think about it because the linseed goes to the um, stable now. So it should be somewhere close here. Could just build an extra uh, warehouse to store some different goods anyway because we also need to store the horse tag and the uh, horseshoe so I guess we can really use this extra warehouse there well the row house is getting built will take a bit of time but then we'll also get the corner house I would love to see that that will probably look amazing, so I can't wait for it to be done. But first we need to finish the row house, then the wooden bridge, the saddlery, the warehouse. Though I think this one should go rather fast because it only needs nails and wood. And I think we should have plenty of nails. Yeah, 1500, so that's okay. Kind of hoping we get the right trader in so that we can actually sell some good stuff. Well, we can sell a thousand... Sunflower oil, which gets us some money. We can sell a few pieces of clothing, which also gets us some money. And that's about it. Well, at least we're selling some goods. I like that. The row house is completely done. Three vacant spots, so more and more families can join town. You can see that we have some people without a job, so that's good. That means that as soon as we get to the sowing season again, they will all rush to the farms and do a good job. All right. During the winter, it's always hard to really see whether roads are already disappearing or not. I don't think these are actually really disappearing yet. But uh, hopefully soon enough they will. Yeah, this is all working. Guess we should add flax to this one. Because that we also have plenty of and they can use it in here. So why not put flax in here? Plenty of shoes. Can we put some shoes into the uh, trader? If I can find a trader, of course, right here. Oh, they're already in. Well, we'll put in 500. And I think we also put in 500 pieces of clothing. Because I think if we check shoes... Yeah, we have 2,800 shoes. And we have 1,700 pieces of clothing. So that, that we can do. That won't hurt us too much. We have the storage here for all the shoes and stuff. There's still plenty of space for all of this, so that's okay. No worries there. Wooden bridge almost done. Messenger from Merefa. Yeah, I'm not going to sell you a lot more. Well, maybe another... No, not a thousand because he's not asking for a thousand. He's always asking for five thousand. Yes, we can sell another thousand. Deal. Bye-bye. All right, ooh, and some iron and salt. I like it, let's sell that. We have plenty. Get our money back up because, uh, well, we were not doing that good money-wise, but with all of this again, we should be over 15 or 1600 again. All right, the bridge is done. Could be focusing on some food here by building a few orchards, of course. All right, let's see if we hit the F1 button here too long it's not even that long or am i just zoomed out too much sure. all right let's go make it as wide as possible 
Now let's get it up to size. There we are. Now let's keep it in the... Not in the middle. We'll put it in the front here so we get as many trees as possible. There we go. That's one. Let's keep a little opening in between so that people can walk in between. I think that's the smart option to do so that uh, we don't completely block off an area for later. Might also be using this area for housing later on too. Alright, let's start off with two orchards. Stone storage is complete. Um, but I think this... Here we have the brickworks and here we have the iron smeltery. So I guess this one was for iron ore. So that it gets filled up with iron ore for this one. Then we can remove it from in here. We can still store other stuff in here that we might need. We can see... The snow is going away, so it soon will be March sowing season again. Very nice. They should all be working the land quickly then. Alright, the saddlery is also done. Let's get working. No leather. Well, we should be producing leather, so that should not be too much of an issue. There comes the metal parts and we have 1700 leather to spare so that should not be an issue there it comes let's start producing horse tack we already have the horseshoes in here now all we need are a few nice horses lots of people on the farms let's go check this yeah now we have some oxen or bulls that we can slaughter so we get more Hides and then can create more leather out of that. Which will be very nice. So let's do so. Yep, this is good. And of course by getting rid of the bulls. We make sure that we get plenty of space for cows that actually can give milk. Because as you know a bull can't give milk. So um, getting rid of most of the bulls and hopefully replacing them with a few more cows would be very good for the cow sheds. And I think all of these products are very well... Yeah, we sold good amount, so that's nice. Messenger from Derkachi. Perfect. Let's sell some charcoal. That makes good money. Let's sell some shoes too. And soon we'll be swimming in the money again. That's nice. They have horses here though. Uh, they have no female horses. So let's just buy uh, six male horses. And then I guess we'll have to find another place where they can sell some female horses later on. But for now, this should be fine. No, we're not going to sell apples. We can sell some normal clothing too. Perfect. Well, I'd say some of the roads here are already disappearing. So that is working. Just have to give it more time. Ah, just a bit of sand. Yep, yeah, all the resources are coming in. Great. Let's get this corner piece ready. Then we can do another corner piece here too. And with, of course, these little openings here, it doesn't really matter if it's completely... Uh, we make a complete square here because they can still get in, even with carts and stuff. All right, here comes the corner piece. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this so much. This should look so great. Oh, they can build it in a nice pace. There comes some part of the roofing. Yep, there it comes. Perfect. Fits in nicely. Should have been placed slightly closer, but this is okay. I like the way this looks. This is really like a row of houses. I love it. Three families go in, so that's okay. And well... I think we've made some progress this time. 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.